Oh, wait a minute. This is going back in time. Now I'm going forward in time, but this is a back in time portal. Oh my good. Wait, why are there two of me? Yo, 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 everybody. Generic me here, and welcome to another episode of Hermit Goes Mobile. This time we're looking at causality. So this video is sponsored by the fine folks who developed causality. And if you want to get it, you can get it for iOS and Android devices. Super cheap. It's like $1.99. Links are in the description uh, if you want to check it out. Also, if you don't have a, a mobile device, it's also available on Steam. So you can get it there as well. But Causality is a really interesting puzzle game. You guys know me. I love puzzle games. And for me, I think... I think mobile devices are the perfect platform for puzzle games because you can sit there on the toilet. <laughs> you guys, I know. T don't lie to me. I know you guys sit on the toilet and play video games, okay? I know I do it. Or also if you're in bed, you know, something like that. Puzzle games are the perfect little thing because then you can kind of chew on it a little bit, finish a, a level, and then you're done, right? Um, but causality is, is more than 3D. It's like 4D. It's like timeline based as well so i'm going to show you like the first couple of them to show you like the introduce like the basics of it and then we'll go into some that i haven't done yet because right now you see the ones this is first first stage um the ones that are green i've already completed so i know what's going on the the ones that are like 11 through 15 uh are bonus ones and they're really an extra challenge if you guys are in for that thing so but let's let's go ahead and get started let's do the first the very first one, so you guys see what I'm talking about. Here's the dude, and uh, on the bottom, the little black line is your timeline. And so it wants us to scroll down. This is just how you play, right? And the guy, oh, you notice Broham right there. Let's go to the instant replay. Broham right there gets hit by, uh, by a Cthulhu, right? And so you'll even see it on the timeline, that right there, the little, uh, the little caution symbol is telling you that something bad's gonna happen. So we gotta redo it, and luckily, we can turn that little arrow, and instead he'll go the other way. All right. All right, so on to the next one. So that just kind of shows you, like, you have to, you can change the path of which you, of which you take in order to remove yourself from danger. Uh, this one's very similar in the fact that you don't have infinite time. You'll notice the timeline has run out, but we haven't gotten to our, our point yet because you're trying to get to your little colored square. So if we try, we flip it around. We're just tapping on those little arrows. And now Bob's your uncle. The guy goes home easy as you please, right? So that's, they start you off simple like that. Then it gets a little more detailed so let's go to like uh level seven let's try that sucker out and see oh, oh what is this you say unto me now there's two people so we we got to get the green person to the green square and the blue person to the blue square but now there's something in the way ooh and it's like a little pneumatic platform blocky thing so we have to step on the little pressure plate first to lower it and then we can get in plus you'll notice on the timeline We've got some badness going on. So if we just ran it normal, let's see what happens. And now they just bump into each other forever and ever. Okay, so that is not gonna work. Uh, we've got to move the blue guy over there so he's blocking something. I'm gonna say let's have him actually push his own thing so if we move it he's gonna get there before the badness comes but watch this if we do that oh he gets sucked up the green one we don't want that to happen so we back it up just a little bit yeah right how about that um i'm actually gonna move this thing backwards and make the green guy go back to his home uh-huh so now he's in there and then we can move this little guy again. See, it's, it's time, baby. You, you adjust time, a thousand points of light. Boom. And so it's all done. Crazy, right? It makes you think in a, 
in a different way. And that's what I love about a really good puzzle game is when they take an aspect of something and force you to force you to think differently in order to solve the puzzles. It's really, really cool. All right, so I've done all 10 of these. I'm not gonna do 11 through 15 on camera because the, like I said, those are like extra challenge. Um, and I've actually tried 11 a little bit and it's, it's pretty rough. Uh, but let's go ahead and go to the next level and see what we got going on. Level 201, let's do a couple together, shall we? Oh, okay, so this is a new thing I've not seen. All right. So they're going to introduce, a, like, a warp thing? Uh-huh. Oh, okay, so we've ran out of space. Aha. Uh -huh. So I'm guessing if we do one of these little jobbers, it's going to be, like, a portal. Oh, man, what? Oh, wait a minute. I'm act oh so that is not only I'm not going back in time like this is going back in time now I'm going forward in time but this is a back in time portal so it's setting me back in time oh my good wait why are there two of me Oh my, coffee maker going off. Oh my goodness. What? Okay, you know that scene in The Matrix where she's like, was really going to bake your noodle? Or there is no spoon? That's, we just hit some there is no spoon business right here. So, oh, and I just figured, oh, watch this. Cause I know what we have to do. We have to push the, the little button, but first let's send a dude into the portal. Right? So we do that. Now look at us. And... Oh, wait a minute. Did I do wrong here? Oh, okay. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Oh, wait, what? All right, what if I do it this way? So it pushes it? Uh, oh, 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 okay. And then that gets turned around. Let, let's see something. What? Wait, wait, what? Hold up, hold up a minute. Let's go, let's go back to the menu here. What in the flip did we just do here? Oh, fellas, I didn't even realize that this game was going to get this nut baggy. Okay, let's, let's try this one more time. Oh, no, no, hold on. Let's go, let's go back to the first one. Because I think I misunderstood what was going on. Is this like a wormhole? So that connects to that, right? So when we go in, so even though he's going in, however long it takes to get to the other side, oh, is how far back it's going. Oh, so it's like, that particular person is going back in time a certain number. Oh my goodness. Okay, so now let's go back to this one and let's see if we can explain what's going on, right? So when it, <laughs> okay, let's try this. He goes in. And, and then he steps on that. And now he's gonna go, that's got, that's got pushed down. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Because it, because it knows. Oh, okay, are you ready for this? This is gonna be super, Nuts, and I wish I could had a mouse pointer to show this stuff at you. In two 
two blocks from now, the guy who's who's about to step on the little arrow is gonna go into that portal and then it's gonna go back in time. So basically it's that that guy up on the top is this guy three moves from now into the future. Whoa, can we get Michael J. Fox up in here to explain some of this and and the Doc Brown because we going back to Marty! We need 1.21 gigawatts. Okay, so now that I think I get this, let's try one more, cause my noodles officially baked at this point. Oh, now we have two people. Okay. If we, if we take a dude. Oh, okay, wait, 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 wait. If we take a dude and we put him there, uh-huh, and then he goes in. Oh, yes, right? Okay, now at that point, see, he's heading into, he's heading into that portal. So by the time he would hit that portal, that's him up in the top that's gone back in time. Oh, and, yes. Okay, and then we gotta flip this guy. Wow! Are you guys thoroughly confused? Now here's the question I always ask myself on these puzzle games. Who, is, I mean, I'm a genius. I dare anybody to tell me otherwise in the comments below that I'm anything other than a clear genius for understanding these puzzles. But the only people on this planet who are more than a genius than I am are the people who develop this and come up with the levels because that's even beyond my recognition, my comprehension. Okay, so we know we've got a bad guy. So if we, cause see right there, we would get smacked by a bad guy, so that's bad. If we do this and flip it, now that's got that, but wait, wait. He turns. Uh-huh. Okay. Now which way you gonna go? Right? Okay, something ain't something ain't right. No, we're out. Okay. So we've gotta figure out a different technology here. Remember that thing I said about being a genius? <laughs> okay, hold on. <laughs> oh, I don't fully understand this yet. S okay, somehow... Somehow we've got to tell this guy... Whoa. What? Okay. I need a minute on this one, fellas. Give me, give me some time to do some thinking on this one. Oh, it's so weird. Okay, <laughs> maybe, maybe. And I've noticed like this crazy stuff in the timeline. You can jump back and forth on the timeline and, and set when you want things to flip around and, and all sorts of stuff. Okay, so uh, now let's do this. Now let's go. We want, I'm gonna move it. You see how, uh, here, let's, let's get it where it doesn't do that stuff all right and so this was like that all right so now at the very first thing it's nothing's changed actually I'm gonna I'm now gonna go here and I'm gonna remove that one yep that one we know okay so now it's pretty much an empty thing check this business out it's crazy so <clears throat> I'm going to make it go up like that and then around like that. So this first little guy, he's gonna go, he's gonna walk, he's gonna go around, he's gonna hit both of those guys at the same time, right? Now what I wanna do is move that guy around and you'll see, <clears throat> you'll, 
you see right here, this is, okay, all right. We're hitting like a wormhole. So if you look down at the bottom, right when I move to the next spot, boom, we get a new guy. Why do we have a new guy? Because in the time it would take me, one, two, three, four, five, six more tiles, one, two, three, yeah, in six more tiles, that would allow the guy at the bottom to reach the portal, and so that's who this guy is. So I'm hoping now this guy will reach right through. Boom, 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 boom. Oh. Oh. My brain has melted. Oh, this is such a good game. Okay, let us try one more. I need a drink of water. Oh my God. Someone get me a wet towel put on my head, would you? All right, uh, <clears throat> so we've got one of those. Let's see if we can make a little more sense out of stuff now. This, this is nuts. Uh, if I move this guy and this guy. Okay, so we could see that gives us a little See, he gives us like a little blurt back, and that's maybe not what we want. But if we go like that, and then, okay, that gives us a bigger one. Let's just see what happens there. Yeah, I don't know. So that goes through. That moves that one down, we're fine there. Uh-huh. Ooh. And then that guy is there. And that doesn't do us any good. Because now he's going to run around. Okay, but hey, that was close. Alright, let's think about that again then. Uh, it's all about putting these guys in the right spot. So if we did something, if we really went ham bone... And moved it like that he won't it doesn't look like he's even gonna get there in time cuz see now he's moving around oh got hit by that thing oh because that's that ooh but that looks like that'd be a pretty good way for my other dude to get there okay all right so let's let's maybe try that if we sit there and we go like that Okay, maybe this might work. If we go boom, boom, boom. He comes down. E okay. Yes. We're good. He hits the thing. Yeah! <laughs> yes! I am the smartest man alive. Until I get stuck on something, and then I feel like the stupidest man alive. <laughs> hey, but fellas, I think that's going to do it for me for this episode. Hope you enjoyed. If you are a fan of crazy, crazy mind-twisting puzzles, then I definitely recommend this game, Causality. And again, thank you to the fine folks at the who developed this game for sponsoring this video. If you're interested, it's like $1.99 for iOS and Android. You can get it in the description below. But that's doing it for me, boys and girls. Until next time, take care, brush your hair. I'll see you when I see you. Purse. Right back.